decided to go ahead and talk about this Switch, this Nintendo Switch, the newest and latest effort from Nintendo as far as consoles go. Their last was obviously the Wii U, and now we're moving past that, we're moving next-gen. I'm kind of confused as to what next-gen is, but next-gen, right? And Nintendo does that with the Switch. This was the NX thing they were teasing that people were going crazy over, that they were like, oh my god, show the NX, show the NX. Now it's here, and it's the Switch, so... Obviously with Nintendo, they're going to be distinct, they're going to try to do their own thing. Um, I don't always disagree with their decisions in that aspect, but I respect that they're hipster when it comes to this kind of stuff, I hate that word, but you know, they're the different brand, the different audience, and they gotta do things differently because of that. And why am I doing a video on this? I'm obviously not the biggest Nintendo fan, I, I hate that I even have to say that every time I do a Nintendo video. I feel like Nintendo being in the title is just dangerous enough for me to just get hate, get backlash, because, oh my god, Steven Knox is talking about Nintendo, this can't go well. Yes, if you don't know me, if, you, if you're kind of new to my channel, I am not the biggest Nintendo fan whatsoever. I do own all the consoles, I just didn't grow up with the same games you probably did. You know, I love my <laughs> one of my favorite games ever. My favorite non-Sonic game ever is actually Super Smash Bros. Melee, and that's a Nintendo game. But a lot of their games, a lot of their franchises, I just don't care about. I really don't. Uh, Kirby, Zelda, I don't really care about really a lot of their franchises. And um, it may be weird to you guys, I'm not calling them bad, but it's just what I grew up playing, it's what I, I relate to, I relate to different things. Kirby, Earthbound, Yoshi, oh my god, Yoshi especially, I could never get into that series. But yeah, those games just don't appeal to me, so I'm always looking forward to what Nintendo is doing because they're, they're super interesting, you want to see where they go, it's like, what can they do from here? I really haven't liked their last two consoles, so it's like, man, you go from something like the GameCube, a console I really love, and then you go to the Wii, a console I really hate, and then the Wii U, it's just like, it's one of the most pointless consoles ever made, it's like, why do I own this? And now we're to the Switch, and I guess I can get right into the presentation, because that's what the video is. I will say this, I was pleasantly surprised in a lot of areas with this thing. Mostly the software, and we'll get into that in a bit, but right now I just want to touch on the, the console itself. Um, it's, it's whole gimmick, obviously, if, I, I feel like you all know what it is, but it's basically, it's like a portable tablet thing you can take with you, it's like you can take full games with you, that's, it's, it's pretty cool. Or you could leave it at home, you know, on your screen or TV or whatever. That's the main gimmick with this thing and the, the controllers, the Joy-Cons, I think that's what it's called. You can take them apart and mix match them however you want, different colors and all that kind of thing and to do whatever you need to do to fit your playstyle, and um, with that comes gimmicks, like there's a whole game that revolves around using the Joy-Cons and like doing Wii motions with them, but I won't get into that just yet. But I will touch on the hardware, it's <laughs> it's Nintendo, so it, the hardware sucks like always, it's never going to be on par with the other systems, it's, just, it's sad, it really is. But that's Nintendo, man. They sacrifice games quality over console quality, you know. That's the appeal of Nintendo. It's never really been their, their systems. It's always just been, like, the library. So, gotta give them props for that. But, God, they're, it... <laughs> come on, dude. I think it's 32 gigs of memory. I think that's the, the SD card. And, yes, if you buy them physical, it will be a lot easier on you. Since the Switch does take cartridges this time around. But still, are you really packaging a console with only 32 gigs? It's just sad, man. It's you realize it's like we get further and further throughout the timeline. We're in 2017 now. We're just gonna get further and further. And they're just gonna keep giving us 32. It's like how Apple like keeps giving out 16 gig phones. Why do those still exist? Good God, man. That, it's so bad. And then I think the battery life is like three to six hours or something. Which, I mean, I, I'm not, if I ever have this thing, I'm not going to be taking it with me, so it's not a big deal. I don't really, I don't do portable gaming like that like I used to. I don't really take my 3DS everywhere and play it. So I definitely won't be doing that with this big ass tablet I have to take with me. So that's, that's not gonna happen, but um, I have like a phone for that, that's what I, I have a phone for that. If I had a Switch, it'd stay at home, basically that's what I'm saying. So it's not really a big deal to me, but for a lot of people I'm sure it will be. 
And if you're looking to play this thing locally, I mean, like the controllers are pretty dang expensive for this thing, and I don't think it comes with any games. I don't think there's any bundles out right now. Not that I know of. I could be totally wrong, but um, I haven't seen any. I don't like every console I know comes with like a game. It came with a game, and every console I've had at least. There's no Wii Sports. There's no anything. Even um, I guess I'll go into the games now. The one two switch like that's the whole gimmicky game it's basically the nintendo land the wii sports of this console the game looks incredibly stupid i don't know why they were trying to market this as like a huge thing when this could have been covered in like a tiny direct or something this could have never even been mentioned nobody would have cared because it's it's 2017 again no one is amazed by motion controls i don't know anyone who saw that and just got excited that was like one of the stupidest things. I, you know, <laughs> I was super optimistic. I was super positive tweeting this this thing out. But when I rewatched it, I forgot how stupid the beginning was. Like how, how dumb it was. Because it, it went on so long and it just got so good after that I just completely forgot. And I was like, man, this is so bad at the beginning. And holy crap, it was. Like even the, the trailer was super cringe for it. Oh my god, that was... And it went on so freaking long. And they were like demonstrating holding ice like who why was that being shown i could it, it was the most nintendo thing ever and that's the only way i can describe it it was the most nintendo thing ever oh my god that was embarrassing i hate that i'm even talking about it because it was that stupid but luckily and here's where they delivered i thought the games they showed were like for me not being a nintendo fan it, it's weird how this worked out i swear they showed the exact things i liked from nintendo and, like, excluded everything else. Like, I, I saw a lot of disappointed Nintendo fans at this thing because there was no, like, Kirby and all that. All the stuff I don't give a crap about, they didn't show. And it's so freaking weird how that worked out. And it just made this, this whole thing appear so much better than it probably was. I won't go exactly in order, but I'm pretty sure it started off with, like, ARMS. I think that was, like, the, the new game they showed off after... 1-2 Switch. And I think that game looks freaking great, man. It looks so freaking fun. It's colorful. I love games like that, man. It's like, it doesn't even feel really Nintendo. It reminds me of a mix of, like, I immediately thought of Super Monkey Ball. Like, there's, I actually have a video of it on my channel, a really old video. But in Super Monkey Ball Deluxe, there's a game called Monkey Fight Deluxe, and you use, like, a spring boxing glove, and it instantly reminded me of that. That's, like, the moment I saw it, I was like, dude, Monkey Fight Deluxe, oh my god. It was, like, the coolest thing ever. It reminds me of that mixed with uh, Fusion Frenzy. Like, for some reason, I get Fusion Frenzy vibes from it. I don't know if you guys ever played that. It's, like, an Xbox exclusive. It has a sequel on the 360, and it's a fun party game, but... Yeah, I think ARMS looks great. People were flipping out about the name. I didn't mind the name at all. I thought it, I thought everything about it was cool. I guess I'm minority there. I'm not sure who else is looking forward to, to ARMS, but I don't know if it's a game I'd spend 60 bucks on, so I have to look on the price on that. There's also a Splatoon 2. Uh, freaking awesome. Splatoon, if you didn't know my opinions on it, I thought Splatoon had... It was the definition of potential. Like, it was great. I think it's a great game. I think it's a really solid game. But it just... It was missing so much, dude. Like, it was missing so many modes to keep it from being... I thought... I thought... I seriously thought it could have been the best Wii U game. It had, the, it had everything to be the best Wii U game, but it just... It really wasn't. It was the original idea. It was just... The flair of it, the impact it had, the image it presented. It was just a cool game, and it really represented the Wii U. But I feel like Smash Brothers had it beat for, like, best Wii U title. But Splatoon 2 is definitely nice. It's definitely nice. I can't believe it's already, like, sequel-ready. It feels like it just came out. Like, it's crazy how fast time flies. It feels like it's only been, like, a year ago. But yes, I'm definitely looking forward to that. I think it's one of their best franchises, honestly. No one's going to agree with this, but I think it's in their top five franchises. I cannot express how much I love that series, and I think it's iconic as hell. I love, again, the image of it, the idea of it, the sound of it. It's just a great IP, and seeing it get a sequel, even this soon, didn't bother me. It actually made me pretty excited. It's like, dude, I want to try that. The only bummer with Splatoon 1 was that I didn't play it that much. I actually just stopped playing it. It's probably because I just stopped playing my Wii U, and, and that sucks, because Splatoon is a great game, if you haven't played it already. I also want to mention Bomberman. Uh, there's a new Bomberman game. I think it's called Bomberman R. I think it's Super Bomberman R. And... Freaking cool, man. That that works. How do you get mad at that? It's Bomberman is back. That's 
that's great on every every freaking level it's great i'm actually a pretty big fan of bomberman i actually played some of these super bombermans on the uh, snes briefly played hero and i actually own bomberman jetters it's I don't know if anyone else in the world loves that game, but I actually like that game a lot. The menu theme is like engraved in my mind. And yeah, I loved it. I put so many hours into that game, so. Bomberman being back, and it's exclusive. You can't really, I don't think you can get it anywhere else. So that's a big win. It's like one of those, man, I, I, I might have to get a Switch, man. I, I want to play Bomberman. Like, who, where else am I going to get to play a new Bomberman? So, I don't know if that's like a story or anything, but definitely cool. Uh, you know, it's always cool to see Bomberman back. And visually, it just looks nice. The, the thing with the Switch, I don't know how much better it's going to look. Because uh, some of the stuff look just like Wii U stuff. Like, I could see that on the Wii U. It's like... The Wii U didn't look bad at all, and the Switch just looks not so much different, so I don't really know what upgrade it is, I'm not gonna look that up, so if there's a, a, a big upgrade or so, I, I don't know. It looks kind of the same to me. And of course, since they're branching out to third party, you know, people and all that, there's going to be sports titles like FIFA and I think NBA 2K. Um, so good for those, uh, that audience looking to buy those kind of games for the switch guess i should briefly talk about fire emblem warriors um heck yes i actually love the warriors games i i have so many i i used to play uh rochi warriors 3 like non-stop i used to play dynasty warriors like five all the time i've always had my respect for uh tecmo them doing the dead or alive series of course one of my favorite series ever my favorite fighting series gotta love those dudes and i'm glad they're doing that fire emblem version because i actually did play fates the newest one i think it was birthright and i i enjoyed it quite a bit so it'd be cool to actually play with these characters like control them with like con a control stick and stuff and fight with them so I think that's going to be cool. Um, a lot of people are tired of the Warriors games or get tired of them pretty easily. I could see that every now and then I'll just get burned out by them since it's like the same thing over and over again. But I enjoy them quite a bit and it'll be nice to see what that brings. And here's the obvious one, the one you've probably been waiting on me to talk about this whole time. And that is Super Mario Odyssey. Or what a lot of people are starting to call this thing, Super Mario Adventure. Because it's it's not hard to see why. You know, the opening shot, I immediately thought of Station Square. Like, immediately. I even tweeted, that was the first thing I tweeted. I didn't even, like, finish looking at five seconds of the trailer. I tweeted it that fast. I was like, dude, Mario's in Station Square. And the moment he jumped, I was shocked it was Mario. I thought it was, like, some other game. I actually thought it was, like, a continuation of Splatoon or something. I thought they were, like, showing the same trailer. So I was, like, on and off of the stream. But when I saw Mario jump out, I was just like, what the heck? And he's, like, running around. I was like, oh, this is a real deal. Just the taxis and the way the buildings were laid out and just the way the roads turned. It was so Station Square, like... It was like exact, like if they remade Adventure, it looked like that. It was just this big city and it was, it was so weird, man. <laughs> I could not, like just being a Sonic fan, you know, just growing up with Adventure and just reminiscing on the, the perfect chaos cutscene, the opening, and then just playing the stage, hopping on taxis and doing all that stuff. It, it's so weird seeing Mario there. And the thing is, it looks so good. It looks so... Right, it didn't feel weird to me at all. It just looked so beautiful and looked so right, and this just constantly made me want an adventure remake of like, dude, just imagine SA One remade with today's graphics. That just that's what that mainly did to me. Obviously, the game looks fantastic. It's Mario. It's supposed to be like a continuation, uh, like sixty four. It's like a sandbox game, so that'll, that'll be interesting. Uh, thank God it wasn't Galaxy Three. I I was hoping it was something like new like, the next step after Galaxy, and I'm shocked, it looks like it's going, it really reminds me a lot of Adventure, even the name, like, Odyssey, Adventure, it kind of works, it's like Mario's SA1, basically, uh, just, obviously, you're going to be controlling one character, and even that's something that reminded me of Angel Island, there's, like, this floating thing of land, I was like, dude, that's, that's Angel Island, what is this, and Mario even does, like, a spin dash, or, like, a roll or something, I was like, dude, now, this isn't me saying, oh my god, Mario's ripping off Sonic, like, so many people are saying, no, I think this looks great, I don't, I don't think it's a rip-off, I think it's just a new take, I think it's really acceptable, because a lot of people's complaint with Mario is that, oh my god, Mario does the same thing over and over again, he's always in Mushroom Kingdom, he's always doing these planets safe and here we are in a new place it's refreshing it's super refreshing it's not like when sonic did lost world and wanted to be galaxy for no reason it's like dude you're coming off of generations and you're just doing this for no reason the last thing you need to do is be experimental 
and that's exactly what Sonic did. And God, now now look where we are. But Mario has all the momentum in the world. This dude will never have a bad game. Like as far as the main series goes, he will never ever have a bad game at this rate. I do not think this thing will be even close to mediocre. It looks freaking fantastic. And um, yeah, Nintendo, you're outdoing yourselves. <laughs> I I can't I can't get behind how Mario just is that good can make anything that good it's crazy it really is just when you look at it it's just like man it looks like when you just look at that 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 new york city that station square with mario it really it really just looks like i even tweeted a picture it just looks like sonic and mario switched worlds like if this was a platformer like what everyone wants these would be the mario stages and these would be the sonic stages that's exactly what it is like it, that's that's how it would be that's exactly how a platformer would be I can only imagine that. Mario and Station Square and uh, Sonic and, uh, I guess, Green Hill Galaxy or something. But yeah, enough about that. I think it's going to be great. Um, it has no reason to be bad. It's not going to be on launch. That's That kind of sucks. It will be a holiday release. But I'll touch on that a bit more uh, later. Also, something that's really cool that they... Um, I don't think they really show on stream that much. But there's a Mario Kart 8 uh, repackaging or like a re-release. It looks pretty cool, man. Dry Bones is there. I haven't played with Dry Bones since Mario Party 7. My favorite Mario Party game. My, one of my favorite games of all time. And dude, I used to always play with... Uh, I think it was Dry Bones and Toad were always my team. Those are like my two favorites. So like that, him being in the game is like, dude, I... It's like, how can I not buy it now? Like... Dude, if it's not clear enough, I'm eventually going to get the Switch. I don't get any console day one or week one. It has to, it has to have games for me to get it. The launch. <laughs> the launch. I want to get into this later, but I guess I can talk about it briefly before I go on to uh, Zelda. Goodness, the launch is so bad. It's it's so bad, but you know it's you just got to chalk it up to it's it's Nintendo, man. They're they, they're not perfect, clearly. Um, but they, they really delivered with the games on this one. I, I can't, I can't even lie. Yeah, but let me just touch on Zelda and then I'll wrap it up. Breath of the Wild. Actually, my opinions on this game have been pretty just average. Every, like, I wasn't blown away at E3 like everyone else. When I saw Breath of the Wild, it was just like another open world game with, that was beautiful, you know, at like, sort of like a Journey look to it. I, I don't want to compare it to Journey, it's obviously it's a different thing, but just the way it looked, and it was just an open world, and so many people were blown away, and they're like, oh my god, it's gonna be the best game ever, Nintendo won E3, and I'm like, dude, what the heck? It's like one open world game, like there, there are other games that are open world, if you actually go out and look, it's, this is not the first game to ever do this. And I just could for the life of me, couldn't see anything special about it. But, you know, I'm not a Zelda fan to begin with. I wasn't gonna just say that and tick everyone off and ruin their vibes and their moods, because Zelda is a huge series and has a huge following. I don't want to just, like, ruin their, their, uh, moment, I guess. But I didn't see anything special with the game, and every clip or everything I saw of it, I just didn't really care for. I thought it was like the most boring looking game ever. And the title, even the title bugged me. It doesn't even really have a ring to it. It doesn't flow well to me at all. And it took a lot of getting used to, to like say it right. Just Breath of the Wild. It was such a weird title and I just couldn't really say it. I don't know why. I'd say like something else. Like Breath of the Wind or something. It was just weird. It was a weird combination of words for me. But... I don't know how they did this. I don't know if they held everything back until this moment because the game is going to be on launch and it's coming up pretty soon. But I swear, I swear you, this trailer made this game look so much better than it was. So much better. I don't know. Like, there's actual voice act. I don't know if I missed the whole thing about uh, voice acting in the game. I remember hearing rumors, but I don't remember actually seeing, like, a trailer of it because I, I don't keep up with the game at all. Like, if it comes on my Twitter feed, I look at it, but... I, I don't really keep up with it. This thing, this didn't even look Zelda. This didn't even look Nintendo. That's what was so weird about it. This looks like a game that could be on like PS4 or something. Because I was so shocked Nintendo did this. It's like super dramatic and I actually, I actually felt something watching it. I was like, dude, what is this? And like Zelda's like crying. Zelda has a really sick redesign, by the way. Holy crap. But Link does too. Like this game just graphically and like the art style is like top notch. Easily the best Zelda has ever seen. Like definitely. The series, as far as like the series, as far as it looks, this is the best looking one by, by far. I can't even argue against anything else. Uh, Wind Waker's close. I thought Skyward Sword was hideous. I thought uh, Twilight Princess was pretty bad too, as far as like visuals. 
but holy crap, this this is my style. I love the way this looks. But good god, man, like freaking Zelda cried. Like you actually felt something for Zelda. She wasn't just like a princess that just sat there. You know, it's just like, dude, this is this is real, man. This is a, a thing. Like Nintendo is doing this right now. It ter- it completely changed my my mind on the game. I think it looks great. I actually want to pick this up now. <laughs> I I love that, man. That's what I love about this presentation was that Nintendo really sold me on these games. Like there wasn't really one game other than that the first game, that that gimmicky stupid game that we we're not going to mention anymore. That I thought was whack. I thought I thought every game was like for me, like every game that they showed was like at least most of the games. A lot of them I just never really heard of. But there was nothing I thought was like, eh, it's like, why are they showing that? The pacing was great. It, like, just went game to game, and there was no real BS in between. And I was like, man, they're actually doing this. And I can easily say that this, as far as, like, a game conference, like, showing off games, this is the best they've been in a long time. Like, years. Definitely better than last year. Definitely, holy crap, much better than the year before that. Um, I thought that year was worse, but goodness, man. They, they really outdid themselves with that. As far as the console, as far as, like, revealing the console, that was pretty weak. They didn't really describe too much. Like, we don't know what the online looks like. Um, you have to pay for online now, actually. And we don't know what the hell that's going to look like. We don't know if it's on par with the other systems. I seriously freaking doubt it. It's Nintendo, so of course it's not going to be. I can only hope that it's somewhat good. I can only hope that a lot of the games take advantage of online. A lot of them seem to, so I can, I'm just hoping that the online is worth it. I'm going to have to pay for it because paying for online sucks, but eventually Nintendo is going to have to do it because look what happened to Sony. They, theirs was free until the PS4 and Nintendo is just doing the same thing. If people really thought Nintendo was just going to stay free, then I don't know why you'd think that, but I just hope their online is worth it. That, that's all I'm saying. Um, Please, please be worth it. Oh my god, please be worth it. But, um, yeah, that and the, the launch, the launch for the console, it comes out March 3rd, I believe. And there, there aren't many games on launch. It's actually kind of, kind of sad. Um, it's how it is, that's how it's gonna go, but I'm not, I don't buy consoles on launch, so, you know, those people out there that are gonna get Zelda day one, good, good on you. Um, I don't think I will. There, the Bomberman game is actually coming up. Uh, the same day, so that'll be cool. You know, you get online Bomberman, and I think the new Just Dance is the other one, and th- there might be others, but it- it's pretty abysmal. I I really can't stand uh, when when companies do that, just have these really weak launch dates because it doesn't really affect me, but it's it's everyone else. You know, you want to please these people that have been waiting. Oh my God, when's when's the NX coming out? These people are constantly begging you. You got to give them something day one, you know, to show the potential of this console. Like you want to impress them. Like just Zelda might do it for some people, but three hundred dollar console. That, that's the price, by the way. It's two ninety nine in the U S. Um, you know, plus everything like the controller and everything else you're gonna be spending. Um, it's gonna be more than that. But yeah, you want to give these guys like a cool launch. I I don't understand why. The console doesn't come with one of, like, there's no bundles like the Wii U did. It's kind of strange to me. But yeah, I just want to wrap it up by saying I was pleasantly shocked and oddly shocked at how much I liked this presentation when I first saw it. I was just sitting there like, dude, this is, this is a Nintendo presentation, a Nintendo conference. Like, I don't, ex- I never go into these expecting to be blown away or anything, but I just liked the the, the games fit my style of like my my appeal for a lot of people a lot of people were going to be disappointed because a lot of things weren't shown a lot of things also weren't shown on on the the stream itself like um i think mania is going to be on switch now so for those worried about that for whatever reason mania is on switch and uh skyrim i think they did say that but you know it's skyrim it's it's been out so but yeah for those of you who like elder scrolls there you go you can take it on the go with you i suppose ah and xenoblade chronicles 2 that's another one i forgot but I, you know I, I don't care for the series i haven't played the first one yet i haven't even played x i was actually anticipating x i just never got around to it i'm sure that's huge news to people so those are some I forgot to mention. And yeah, dude, I was just kind of blown away. I was like, man, this is like the best Nintendo like showings I've seen in a while. Yeah, just the biggest flaws were at the beginning. They didn't really show much of what the console, like what it looks like with like 
as far as what you can do on it. The interface, all that, I didn't really, I didn't really get a sense of the console. I really just felt like it was a direct, it wasn't really a console reveal, it was, it was, it was really odd. Like, I didn't really feel the need to have the console more than the, the games. I was more attached to the games. The console was just like, all right, it's, it's something to play the games on. But I didn't really have an attachment to the console. I don't really dig the gimmick because I don't care about the gimmick. I'm not going to take it with me. So it's like, ah, uh, you know, it's whatever. The little tiny details I do like about it. I do love the logo. I love the logo so much. I do love that it's, it's red. It actually fits the Nintendo color. Finally, it's not like a stupid blue or something. And the box art, like the, the game case actually looks pretty cool too. It reminds me a lot of the, the PSP ones. And it just looks nice and clean. It looks a lot better to me than the last two, at least. The Wii U and the Wii game cases just look like Fisher Price game cases, and it's just. I prefer the Switch. The Switch made the right choice. I, I love the aesthetic of Switch. It looks nice in that regard. And yes, this thing has not even released, and I already love its lineup more than the Wii U. That is a shame. Uh, actually, when I get this thing eventually, one day. I will have no reason to own a Wii U because my three favorite games are one of the, like the three games I, I play on it. Splatoon, Smash, those are both going to be on the Switch, and Lost World is actually on PC. So um, it's like, why do I need a Wii U? Like I have 3D World and uh, Nintendo Land installed. Oh yeah, also Freedom Planet. But Freedom Planet I can like get elsewhere, and I'm not too concerned about 3D World and Nintendo Land. I only played Nintendo Land like once and I never touched it again. So yeah, the Switch completely kills the Wii U. It's, it's really sad to think about. You look at every other Nintendo console, it's like you can actually reflect on it and be like, yeah, this is this library, this is unique to this, and this is... It's like the, the Wii U it's, doesn't have the same feel. Yes, some games are only going to be on Wii U forever, but it's just not the same feel. Even like the Wii has some uniqueness to it. I guess the Wii U, in a sense, like, you can put Wii games on the Wii U, that's the best benefit, I guess. Not much reason. And yeah, this video is getting ridiculously long, so I'm just gonna end it here. Those were my thoughts on the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, they were pretty positive ones. Uh, the console itself, I don't really give a crap about. The consoles themselves are, are never good, you know, compared to the other two, but it, it's the games. That's the appeal with Nintendo. They deliver with the exclusives, and they're they're coming through for me, so that, that won me over. So what do you guys think of it? I've seen a lot of mixed opinions out there, each having their own reason for thinking so. Please let me know, and I will talk to you all later.